Welcome to all watch lovers. Today we're looking at the Watch Dives San Martin collaboration of the 39mm Pelagos with matte ceramic insert, stainless steel bracelet. This is one that I've really been anticipating and you can see that I bought both of them right out of the gate. I actually bought the black one on release day. The blue one about a week later store allowed it and the blue one actually arrived before the black one but here they but I waited so that I could do a review with both of them in hand. I thought it would also be appropriate to compare it to some of the other San Martin watches as well so you can get a feel as it compares to some other variations. I'm going to start off with the blue one of the the most interesting aspects of the piece is the fact that we have a ceramic insert that is a matte finish. And I think a lot of people are going to be curious about seeing this compared to the SN004 limited edition that I have here. And you can see that even though we have, we're dealing with you know, blue on blue and snowflake hands, both of these look like rather different watches. Oh, do you have the difference in the grip of the bezel? You have a dome on the SN004 in the crystal, which you do not really have on new Blagos model. A much smaller uh, bezel printing on a thinner bezel on the SN004 versus the Blagos. And of course, the indices being square on the Pelagos model and the, the hands are outlined in white versus having a silver reflective area. And then there's also uh, the, the cutouts and the depth of the rehort on the Pelagos, which is unique and gives it that interesting look. On the blue model, there is some color mismatch between the dial and the bezel. The dial does kind of change blue colors uh, depending on how the light hits it, as you can see. And I really like the matte ceramic insert. That's one of the major selling points here is I'm a fan of matte finish and brush finish. This watch, almost kind of like a, the perfect match for me because it has matte dial, it has matte insert. It is primarily brushed on all over the top of the lugs, which is very finely done. The bracelet side of the case, the only places that really have the, the high polishing are oddly enough on the top of the, the chamber here, which I expect, but then on the crown guard, the top of the crown guard is actually polished. And so that's unique, um, maybe not something the choice that I would have made, but polishing is well done. And since that area is so small, it's not overly noticeable uh, so far, in, in my opinion. I probably would have gone with a matte finish there, but it uh, doesn't really bother me all that much. On the dial itself, the only area that I thought maybe could be improved is make, make those indices a little bit thicker. Of course, there's some disappointment that the uh, loomed indices are not solid, so there's a white trim around them that is that is not loomed. Uh, and I think, of course, a lot of people were hoping for that <clears throat> solid piece of loom for all the squared indices. Blue BGW9 appears well applied, so you have nice, bright, and long-lasting loom on all the indices and the hands. And the other really nice thing here is that the bezel is also loomed for all the, the white areas that you see. The new feature on this watch model is that we have this brand new design clasp. This is the sixth version. They released the eighth version earlier, but this brand new 16th version this is certainly new. It does differ kind of in design from old standard here. You can see the beveled edge on the bottom, which is not present on the new one, and the rounding of the corner up here on top. And then, of course, the sides are different based upon this is a on the 
on the fly adjustment system that we have here. And the adjustment, I have it fully pushed in. And then all you do is you just have to push on where it says push. And then kind of ratchet for where you want it to adjust to. Like this is well done, feels solid. Uh, I'll have to wait and see over time, you know, how that holds up. But I certainly appreciate the the micro adjust there and as a feature that has long been asked for uh, for San Martin. So it was nice to see that they've listened to their customers and provided one. Now I sized this up for my seven and a half inch wrist. And with that, I have a pretty comfortable fit, but uh, I will say that for my particular wrist size, the way that I've adjusted it is so that on the, took out one link on the bottom and then closing this in as far as it will go, leaves it just a little loose on my wrist. And then if I need more space for wrist expansion, then I just use the on the fly adjustment. The bezel is 120 clicks. And the grip is good. The sound is excellent. And there's basically no no real play here. And it lines up pretty well. I mean, this is really how you expect and want the watch to work. And very satisfied with that. Showing a little bit of the size difference between this and the SN017. You can see the SN017 is a bit, a bit bigger. I do appreciate that we have matching logos on the dial, the crown, and the clasp. It, is, it does have more wrist presence than the SN04. So it has a little bit more of a modern feel to it, um, as well as some of the design choice and aesthetics uh, kind of have that modern modern look to it. So aside for my seven and a half inch wrist. These are 148 grams, so it's definitely a sweet spot. And you can compare that to the SN004, 39 grams, so there is a weight difference there and then you know compared to the SN017 it's slightly lighter so for my taste these are certainly some of my favorite watches that have ever been made really like the instead of the 42 millimeter case of the original uh, I definitely like portions much better it feels like a really good uh, mix between modern and vintage styling. You see here a little bit about how it wears on my wrist. And how the side profile looks. You know, very happy with these. I think the only two areas maybe for improvement would be um, maybe would have been nice on the clasp, but these were a little bit more rounded. I think someone else mentioned they're sharp. I don't find them necessarily sharp, like on a Pagani where it will actually potentially cut somebody. If it matched the sides uh, and was brushed, then having a little bit of that beveled angle would have been would have been a nice touch. Indices, if they were full blocks of loom and also maybe it raised a little bit more to provide a little extra depth there on it. That would have been one little touch to improve it. Other than that, kind of oddly polished crown guard really is uh, just about the, the perfect watch for me. You know, love the fact it's got the on the fly just clasp, the SN04, SN004, so you can get a, a feel for that. of a side-by-side -side comparison.
where it does wear a bit smaller. I'm sure some of you are also curious about how this one looks compared to the SN007 mil sub. So we can take a look at the the, uh, the black on the Pelagosa homage definitely looks more like a almost like a, a gray grayish black. It is not like the deep deep inky black that you get on the uh, um, ceramic and enamel mil sub homage. Be aware of that if you're looking at the black one. It is not a super deep dark black. Um, I like that. It's almost almost grayish in a certain light especially when you compare it to true deep black here on the left same idea here you can see how different the blacks are certainly gets my highest recommendation at this price point hard to go wrong with these uh, you know be aware of the of the style that it is uh, a lot of brush surfaces so if you're looking for something that has a little more of that shine and and polish to it if you will then you know you may look at uh another another model but if you like that that matte look on everything as well as the durability of the sapphire and the ceramic then it's hard to say go wrong with this one i am curious as to how well the adjustable fly clasp will hold up over you know usage and things like that it's premature for me to say anything other than it appears to be well made at this point, but only time will tell on that. But I hope this has been useful to you as you evaluate whether or not you'd like to add one of these to your collection. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe to the channel.